Hello, church. First uh, Corinthians chapter 15 for our devotion today. Paul reminds the Corinthian church that Jesus was raised from the dead. He reminds us as well for that. There has been some talk that God had not raised anybody from the dead and there is no resurrection. What that would mean? That there, our preaching is in vain. That our deeds are worthless. That everything we preach about Christ and preach about the gospel is meaningless. But Paul comes in and states differently. Now, brothers, I want you to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and which you have taken your stand. By this gospel you are saved, if you hold firmly to the word I preached to you. Otherwise, you have believed in vain. For what I received I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures that he appeared to Peter and the Twelve and many others at one time. So Christ was raised from the dead. But if you believe differently, hey, that preaching or everything that we do is in vain. Verse 20. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since Christ came through a man, the resurrection of the dead also comes through a man. For as in Adam, all die. So in Christ, all will be made alive. But each of, in his own turn, Christ the first fruits, then, when he comes, those who belong to him. Then the end will come when he hands the kingdom over to God, the Father, after he has destroyed all dominion, authority, and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. Like I said, if Christ had not been raised, everything that we'd done for him is in vain, is worthless. At the end of the book, at the end of the chapter, it says, When the perishable have been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then this saying, as it is written, will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he has given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor is not in vain. Your labor to the Lord is not in vain. If we hold truth, hold to the truth that Christ is raised from the dead, we also will raise from the dead. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for raising Christ from the dead and showing us your power over death over sin. We thank you, Christ raised from the dead. Also, we thank you that you're showing us that we will also be raised from the dead. We'll be given new bodies, Father. We thank you for that. We thank you for resurrection, Father. Father, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Bye, church.